Hi guys, welcome back to Java tutorial. In this part, I am going to explain what is the use of a super keyword in Java and how to what are the interesting relationship between inheritance and constructors in Java. So all these concept now I am going to explain all these concept by means of a complete Java example. For that, just now I am going to create a Java program that demonstrate the use of super keyword and the relationship between uh, a parent child relationship between during inheritance and uh, what are the relations what are the interesting uh, aspects of if it have the uh, default constructor and if it have the parameterized constructor so here I am going to create two classes class uh, child class Also, there is another class called uh, class parent class. Now, I make the child class extends parent class. Okay, now you can see there are two classes child class and parent class. Child is extends from parent class. Also, now I am going to create to default constructor within these two classes so here is the default constructor for child class child class so here is the default constructor for child class to contain a message print to ln hello from child default constructor okay now I do the same thing in the parent also I'm also creating a default constructor in the parent class also okay now you can see in this program there are two classes a child class and a parent class the child class contain a default constructor also the parent class contain the default constructor here is the from parent default constructor okay now I am going to create the public class of this program here is the public class public class I just name it as super demo it is the public class so it will contain the main method public static void main here is the command line argument So now I am going to create an object of the child class here. So here is the child class object. Child class child. Child is the child class object is equal to new child class. Okay. Now from the rule you can see when we create an object of a class that will automatically invoke the constructor in that class so here I just create an object of the child class so by rule you can see this constructor will automatically invoke and this message will appear but the actual thing is that when we create an object of a child class it will first invoke the parent constructor then only it invoke the child constructor so here the output pattern is first of all this message the message from the parent default constructor will appear first then only output from con 
child constructor appear so now I am going to save this program I save it in the D drive super demo super demo dot java now I save so now I'm going to compile it so I just go to D drive okay now I'm going to compile it java C super demo dot java now you can see the program successfully compiled and now I'm going to run super demo okay you can see first the in this program we just create an object of the child class we cannot create object of the parent class so here the object is the child class object then by rule when we create an object of child class it will invoke first the parent constructor then only it will invoke the child constructor that's why this output first of all it will invoke the parent default constructor after that only it will invoke the child default constructor okay guys thank you for watching uh, in the next part i am going to briefly explain what is the use of a super keyword and what is the when what happens when there is a child constructor and a default constructor is present in both parent and child and at the time of creation of object of the child con constructor what happens in that situation keep subscribe my channel for further video tutorial updates thank you for watching see you in the next part